Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I am going to be demonstrating for you how to do the Dazzle Up My Little Black Dress Sculptured Nail Procedure. Just subtle enough, but dazzled up enough for every holiday occasion. I will be teaching you how to do a full set and how to do the fill-in, and I will be using the Prisma Little Black Dress and the Prisma Dazzle Rocks in Rockin' at Midnight. And to coordinate your toes with your fingernails, you can use my brand new Dazzle Rocks Dazzle Me Up Black Nail Polish and my brand new Nail Lacquer in Little Black Dress. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work. These are the Tammy Taylor products I'm going to be using today to do the Dazzle Up My Little Black Dress Sculptured Nails Procedure. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Conditioning polish remover. Conditioning cuticle oil. Three dappen dishes. One for the brush cleaner. One for the nail liquid when I'm using the Little Black Dress Prisma. One for the nail liquid when I'm using the Dazzle Rocks Prisma. Two brushes. Primer with a towelette in a primer holder, brush cleaner, A plus nail liquid, antibacterial soft soak, competitive edge nail forms, competitive edge crystal clear acrylic, the little black dress prisma, the dazzle rocks prisma, top gel plus, clean it, clean finish buffers, zebra files, an etcher stick, pterygium stone, towelettes, plastic manicure brush, drill with the pencil drill bit and disposable table towels. Now let's get started. Sanitize my hands. Sanitize my client's hands. Remove the polish. And you would do this on all ten nails. Now we're going to etch the nail. Go with the way the nail grows, just scratching the surface. This eliminates 75% of all lifting problems. Make sure there's no shine on the nail. And you do this on all 10. Push back the cuticle. Remove the shine on the nail. And this is a disposable. So when you're finished, you just peel it off and you put on a new one for the next client. Very little pressure. You go with the way the nail grows. This makes the little hills and valleys in the nail so it gives your product something to adhere to. Now after you have etched the nails, you're going to use your trigium stone to make sure there's no skin that's grown up on that nail. If there's skin on the nail, it's going to stop your acrylic from adhering. So make sure you push back that cuticle. Now dust off the nails with your plastic manicure brush. All ten nails. Now you're going to prime the nails. You prime all ten. Wipe off your brush. When you take your primer brush out of your bottle, wipe your brush off just a little bit on your towelette so you don't get too much primer on the nail. Do this on all ten. Now we are going to apply the nail forms. Put a nice curve in your form. Place this curve under the free edge. Stick down the sides. Stick down the little wings. And you're going to do this on all ten nails. Put a nice curve in that form. Get that curve right up underneath that nail. When you get a nice curve on that form, it keeps the C curve in your nail and it also makes it easier to put that nail form on. 
and it gets that form right up next to that free edge. That nice curve under there goes right up underneath that free edge. Put it underneath the corners, stick it down, stick together your little wings. And we're going to do this on all 10 nails. After you have applied your forms, your primer is now dry. The first coat of primer needs to dry. This kills the germs on the nail, dries out the nail, dries out the oils in the nail, so you have better adhesion. Then we're going to apply the primer one nail at a time so the primer is wet when you apply your acrylic. Now, one nail on each hand is going to have dazzle rocks, so I am going to apply the dazzle rocks first. This is the reverse dazzle rocks. Pat it out. This procedure is called reverse dazzle rock procedure. Make your nail bed. Get it just how you like it. Apply your cuticle ball, 30 second of an inch away from the cuticle. Stroke it out. This is Rockin' at Midnight Dazzle Rocks Prisma. After I apply my Dazzle Rocks, I'm going to apply my Little Black Dress Prisma. Apply primer right before I apply my acrylic so the primer is wet. Get your first ball. Place this on the free edge. Let it flow. Pat it out, bring in your sides, bring in your sides, get that free edge just how you like it. Ball number one, we're going to be applying the nail in four balls. Too big. Place the second ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. Stroke it out side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Apply the third ball. 30 second of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. Stroke it out side, side, center. Our fourth ball is going to be a clear ball, crystal clear. Apply this over the entire nail. Now we are going to apply the free edge to our dazzle rocks. Place, let it flow. Add it across, bring in the sides, bring in the sides, clean up your smile line, get it just how you like it, wipe off your brush, then apply your crystal clear over the entire nail and then stroke it out side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Go to the next nail. Apply your primer. We're going to apply the nail in four balls. 
your free edge ball. Place this at the free edge. Pat it across. Bring in your sides. Pat it across. Bring in your sides. Make sure you get that free edge just how you like it. The free edge is the foundation of your nail. Wipe off your brush. Your second ball, place halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you and then place the ball 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle and stroke it out. Wipe off your brush. Apply your crystal clear over the entire nail. This builds up the stress area and seals your color. As the nail is starting to dry, you're going to squeeze your C-curve. Apply pressure towards the nail bed and then slight pressure towards the free edge because you don't want the nail to get skinny. But you want it to be even all the way out. Beautiful. Get a nice C-curve. Makes the nail strong. Makes it look thin. Squeeze your C-curve. Apply your primer and apply your nail in four balls. Get your free edge ball. Apply it at the free edge. Pat it across. Bring up your sides. Pat it across. Bring up your sides. Make your free edge. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush, get your second ball, place it halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Get your third ball, place this ball at the cuticle area, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Apply your fourth ball, your crystal clear acrylic over the entire nail and stroke it out. Wipe off your brush. Squeeze your C-curve and do your next nail. You're going to be doing all ten nails. Now we are going to file the nails, pinch the forms, and this makes it easier to take them off. We're going to be filing our nails in five steps. This is the 180 grit zebra. Step number one, straight out from the left side of the nail groove on all ten. Step two, file the right sides straight out from the nail groove on all ten nails. Step number three, file the free edge. Now if you want a square nail, hold your file straight up and down. If you want a square oval, slightly angle your file. And if you want an oval, really angle your file. We're going to do a slight square oval. So we're going to slightly angle our file. And you do this on all ten nails. So all ten nails look the same. Step number four, we're going to file the top of the nail on all ten nails. Bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. This gives a nice arch to your nail, keeps that really beautiful curve on the nail so the nail doesn't get flat. And then the little road where the acrylic, then the natural nail and the cuticle, you're going to place the corner of your file right in that little road and get that nail really smooth. And this is step number four. Bevel down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. And 
Make sure you get that cuticle area really smooth so it feels like the acrylic's coming right out of the natural nail. Now we are going to do step number five. This is the client's angle. This is the angle the client is going to be looking at for the next two weeks, so you want to make sure it looks just perfect. And just bevel down towards the tip. Get it just how you like it. Do this on all ten nails. After filing all ten nails, use the clean finish buffer and buff all ten nails. After buffing the nails, have the client wash their hands with the antibacterial soft soak and the plastic manicure brush. After the client washes their hands, apply Top Gel Plus. Nice long strokes. Tap the tip. Cover the whole nail. Beautiful. Cure two minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The nails have now cured and we're going to clean them with Clean It and a towelette. And apply our conditioning cuticle oil and gardenia. Also comes in peach. Massage into the cuticles. Now you have your beautiful Dazzle Me Up little black dress sculptured nails. Now I will be showing you how to do the Dazzle Me Up Little Black Dress backfill and fill in when the client comes back in two weeks. Sanitize. Sanitize your client's hands. Remove polish. And you're going to do this on all ten nails. Then you're going to file file all the shine off the nail. These have on Top Gel Plus. Just file it off. File the acrylic flush with the natural nail. Long strokes. After filing the surface of all ten nails, etch the nails using your etcher peel and stick disposable file system. Push back the cuticle. Make sure you etch the natural nail so there's no shine on the natural nail. Remember this eliminates 75% of lifting. Just go with the way the nail grows. And you do this on all ten nails. After etching all ten nails, push back the cuticle with your tritium stone. Make sure there's no skin on that nail. Acrylic cannot stick to any skin, so you have to make sure there's no skin grown up on top of that nail. And you do this on all ten. Now dust off all the nails using your plastic manicure brush and apply your primer. Apply to all ten nails. So your first coat of primer is going to dry. So it kills all the germs on the nail and dries out all the oils in the nail. You do this on all ten. Now I'm going to use my pencil drill bit to drill out the smile line on my reverse dazzle rocks so I can refresh my free edge. Nice little backfill.
start at the corner and then work yourself across make a beautiful smile line and then bevel it out dust it off reprime Apply your dazzle rocks first. Fill in your nail. Rockin' at midnight, dazzle rocks prisma. Make sure if you get any any glitter out on that free edge, you clean it off. Now we are going to do the back fill on our reverse dazzle rock. Get a nice little wet ball. Fill in the little valley. Stroke it out. Get your smile line, just how you like it. Now apply your crystal clear over the entire surface and stroke it out. Apply your primer. Little black dress Prisma. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Apply your crystal clear over the top. Stroke it out. your primer. Stroke it out. Apply your crystal clear. One ball of little black dress and then your crystal clear over the top. I filed in five steps, buffed the nails, and had my client go wash her hands with the antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Top Gel Plus. Nice long strokes cover the entire nail, cap the tip. Cure the nails, two minutes in a UV, 40 seconds in an LED. The nails have now cured and we're going to clean them with Clean It and a towelette. And apply our conditioning cuticle oil. That was so fast, so easy and they're so beautiful. Dazzle Me Up Little Black Dress using Rockin' at Midnight Prisma and Little Black Dress Prisma.